All right, guys, in today's video, we are gonna talk about five things that you will save big on in the Philippines versus the West. Stick around, we're gonna discuss it. Number one is gonna be housing and rent. I mean, in the Philippines, you will save up to 70% on rent. If you're comparing it against major cities, you know, you take New York, Miami, Los Angeles, where rent can be up to $3,000 a month. And here, in a place like Dumaguete, you can pay 200 to 500 on average, or other cities, Bacolod and uh, other, other locations. It depends what kind of a city that you want to be in, if you're out in the province and, and what. But that's one of my major savings is on rent. And I think that's probably the most noticeable one that people see when they first move out here, they get a place to rent. Now, uh, one thing you have to learn is that the places are going to be a lot smaller. It's just normal. That's, you know, uh, they don't look at needing these big, huge places like we do in the West. Uh, but here in the Philippines, you really can do a big savings. So, yeah, that's, that's a huge, huge thing. If you look at the place that I have, I pay a little under 600. It depends on the exchange rate. So I think I'm paying at like 580 per month. In the US, a place like that, probably 1500 a month. It and again, it depends on the city and everything of where you're gonna be. But uh, yeah, so that's a huge one right there is housing and rent. Again, it's gonna depend on what city you're gonna be in. Uh, number two is going to be food and dining out. Now, groceries, I don't know if it's a huge savings. It's a little bit of a savings. But food in general, like dining out, 50 to 70% cheaper at least. Uh, dining out, I've said this many times on videos, when Maya and I go out to eat at a restaurant, we don't even really look at the menu as far as cost. I just go in and I know whatever nice restaurant it's going to be, the prices aren't going to be that bad. I mean, a crazy expensive place could be a thousand pesos per entree. But to be honest, more often than not, it's usually around 250 to 500 pesos per entree. And in the U.S., when I was back in June, every time I went to a restaurant, I was looking at the menu before we would go sit down. And that was something I always did because, you know, if I'm for example, I was there with my three sons. It could be crazy expensive. So yeah, always checking the menu prices before I even sat down. Now groceries here, if you want a Filipino diet, if you're gonna eat Filipino style, you can save big. If you want some of your Western uh, foods, then it is gonna cost you, you know? And in fact, it'll actually cost you more. I spend, probably around 400 US dollars a month on groceries, because I do have a bit of a, a Western diet that I, I bring in uh, to my, my home. And dining out, we dine out a lot. And I'm mean, including coffees and places like this uh, on the beach here that we just, uh, you know, we went snorkeling and decided to eat here. So we dine out a lot because it kind of goes hand in hand with a lot of activities that we do and also restaurants, you know, it's, it's very affordable. So I, I spend a lot. If you want to see a full budget video on, on what I spend each month, you can see up above, you can click on it and see the full video. Another one is transportation. You know, I got rid of my car in the West and just on car insurance alone, I saved a lot of money. Maintenance saved a lot of money because you bring a car in for repairs in the US, you're paying a high premium for a qualified mechanic to work on your vehicle. Here, they work for very cheap. Now, granted, they may not be, have as nice of shops and may not be as qualified in some instances, but they will repair your vehicles for a fraction of the cost. Now, with a motorbike, because I spend, I can't, I don't think I spend more than 10 US dollars per month on gas insurance registration i pay i don't know 40 dollars for the whole year so in maintenance 
you know, I, I just bought new tires for about $150, I think. And those were high end, really nice tires, the best tires you can get on my, on my motorbike. That will last a good couple of years. So maintenance, transportation, you'll save a lot. Taxis are super cheap. Grab, I was going all over the city in Cebu and Ilo Ilo, Bacolod for a couple of dollars. So very cheap on transportation. You know, when I was in the West and I needed an Uber, crazy expensive. Healthcare. Now, healthcare can be very, very inexpensive here. You go in, I mean, most people, they don't do even dental insurance here because everything's so cheap for $15, $10, $15, you get your teeth cleaned and x-rays and everything here. Uh, you get cavities filled for, you know, um, $30. It's uh, very inexpensive. A lot of people come to the Philippines and get their dental work done in medical procedures as well. Now, are there better countries for medical facilities? Yeah, I think there are. The Malaysia, Thailand are really known for their medical tourism. Philippines, not so much, but it is a lot cheaper. Uh, I had to go in to clean out a big uh, cut that got infected, had, had it cleaned, stitches, uh, antibiotics, the whole thing, and it was just like $40, it was very, very cheap. Now the last thing would be household savings. You save up to 80 to 90% on similar activities compared to hiring similar services in the West. For example, a housekeeper. And you can, I used to have a housekeeper and I would overpay her. I'd pay her 500 pesos to come in and clean the condo. And it would take her two hours. And then I found out later, people were like, oh, you're overpaying her. But in my opinion, why not make somebody's life a little better, paying them a little bit more so they don't have to uh, struggle, you know? Uh, massage, 250 pesos to 400 pesos per hour. Unheard of. In the West, you're paying over $100 for, a, for an hour massage in, in many cases. Things like uh, women, you know, my, my wife getting her hair done, getting her nails done, all those things, very cheap. If you want somebody to come clean, uh, home service massage, uh, to come in and cut your hair. I mean, all these services you can have come very, very inexpensive in the Philippines for all of that. A full-time housekeeper in the Philippines could cost you $150 to $300 per month. And that is actually paying a little bit more than normal. That's probably even double of the amount. Now, it depends if she's a live-in, whether she just comes and does the housekeeping and then leaves. Uh, a little less expensive if she lives in your house because of course then you're gonna be providing her with room and board. Uh, you know, of course you're paying the extra electric water, food, and you're supposed to take care of her needs as far as like shampoo, conditioner, all that kind of, all those kind of things as well. So yeah, you know, in the, in the US you could spend $1,500 a month on a good housekeeper, uh, depending on whether she's living or comes in services like Molly made in the US, crazy expensive. Now, these types of savings allow expats in the Philippines to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle on a much smaller budget than would be possible in most Western countries, giving you financial flexibility and potentially a higher quality of life. I mean, I know my life has gone up uh, in quality, to be honest, and I really enjoy having those extra luxuries, going to get a massage, having uh, somebody come out if you want and have home service massage. Uh, somebody, my neighbor had, and my landlord actually have somebody come and, and do massage. They have somebody come out to do the uh, a barber, comes right out to the house. I mean, it's just super cheap, a couple hundred pesos to have somebody come to your house and cut your hair. I mean, it's just crazy. And, you know, there's just so many things where you can live much better and you can save money. R really, you know, in the U.S., I'll be honest, I struggled month to month. You know, I lived check to check. A lot of Americans are like that. And here, you know, for the first time, I'm able to, every month, I am pay myself first. And what I mean by that is I dump money into my savings and uh, 
investments first and then I pay all my bills and then I still have leftover money for all my all my fun and excursions and things like that. So here you can really thrive versus the West where you just survive sometimes. So thrive in the Philippines, survive in the West is the way I see it. And that's not for everybody. There's some people that do much better, of course. But uh, here, yeah, you definitely survive. Uh, or excuse me, thrive and not just survive. So by the way, we're at the beach. We went snorkeling today, beautiful day. This is a place called Descanza, right on the beach. And uh, of course here's Maya just relaxing in the background. I think she's sleeping actually. Uh, the coffee shop and restaurant are behind me. Uh, you got a big Filipino party over here. They haven't turned on the music yet, which is why I was able to do this video. And I think they're getting ready to do TikTok possibly. I don't know. Uh, but you can see the boats behind me. It's a very picturesque uh, place. And uh, I'll put the link, but it's in Dowin. And there's so many places uh, to go snorkeling and get a good meal right on the beach here in uh, Dowin. So this is one of my favorites. It's called Descanza. Great food here, actually. Very good food. Great view. And you can snorkel right out uh, behind me here in the, uh, in the ocean. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, guys, for uh, tuning in. I appreciate it. We're going to hang out here for a little bit, and then we are going to go home. But uh, beautiful, beautiful day with beautiful views. I mean, God, look at these boats and stuff behind me. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. This is the, this is why we come out here. You know, this is, this is what we come out here for. And you know, Filipinos, of course, too. <laughs> Check out my website for a lot more information, where to stay, you can book a consultation, things uh, I recommend for living or uh, traveling out to Philippines. Just a lot of information on my website, free PDF for moving or traveling out here. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Ciao.